Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install Doom plus Doom 2 game from Xbox app or if you're unable to install it from Microsoft Store, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to go to Xbox app on the top left here. You can see a profile. I can click on it. Now go to support and then click on gaming services repair to and then click on start repairing. Click on yes to allow and let the repair complete. Once the repair is complete, you can try to install the game once again. But still, you are unable to install it, then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video. The first step is to log in with same account on Microsoft Store and with same account on Xbox apps. So open Microsoft Store on your computer. And on the top right here, you can see a profile icon. Click on it, then click on sign out. And then click on sign in. And then select the right account. Make sure that you select the right account over here and then click on continue. It will be asking for your PIN or password. So enter your PIN or password over here. And once logged in, go to Xbox app. And then on the top left, you will see your profile icon. So click on it and then click on sign up. And then click on sign in. Again, sign in. Now, make sure you have the right account over here. If this is not the right account, you can click on switch account and select the right account and then click on continue. So make sure that you log in with same account on Microsoft Store and you have to select the same account on Xbox app and then log in. Now, once you're logged in, you can try to install the game. Still, you're facing the problem. In that case, the next step is to, if you're installing the game from Xbox app, then you can try to install it from Microsoft Store. So you can open Microsoft Store and on the bottom left here, you can see library option, click on library. And if the game is not installing on Xbox app, then you can try to install it on store. You will find the game in the list and then you can install it from here. So you can click on install over here. If you see the install button, if it is on pause, you can resume. So you can install it from store. Now, the next step is to similarly, if you're using Xbox app, if you're uh, installing it from store, in that case, you can install it from Xbox app. Suppose the game is not installing from Microsoft store. In that case, you can go to Xbox app and install the game. You can find the game over here. This is just an example. So you find the game in the list over here and then select the game and then try to install it from Xbox app. Now, if Xbox app is not pre-installed, it should be pre-installed on your computer. You can open Xbox app and then try to install it. Now, the next step is to run this PowerShell command. This command is provided in the video description. So copy this command and then type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell and then click on Run as Administrator. Make sure that you're opening PowerShell as an administrator. Click on Yes to allow. Now paste the command over here and then hit the Enter key. Now this process will take some time and during this process, you will see some errors in red color. So if you see any kind of error in red color like this, just ignore it and let the process complete. Once this is completely done, once it's finished, now you can restart your computer and then try to install the game. Next, we to delete Microsoft Store local cache file. Now for this, open File Explorer on your computer, go to this PC, and then open C drive, open Users folder. Now open your username folder. Now open App Data folder. Now if you don't see App Data over here, on the top, click on View and then Select show and then put a check on the box with put a check on hidden items and you should be able to see app data. If you have Windows 10, somewhere over here you will find the view option, click on view, and then somewhere over here you will find the hidden item box. Put a check on the box and then you should be able to see app data. Open app data folder. Now open the local folder. Now open the packages folder. Now scroll down and find Microsoft Windows Store folder. So, 
या माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विंडोज टू Okay, here it is. So over here you can see Microsoft dot Windows score underscore some alphanumeric character. So open this folder, and over here you will find local cache folder. Make a right click and then click on delete. Now once this is deleted, now you can try to install the game. Now the next step is to repair or reset Xbox app in Microsoft Store. So type in Xbox app in Windows search box, and then make a right click on Xbox app and then click on App settings. Now on this screen, scroll down, and then you will see the repair option to repair Xbox app. Scroll down, and over here you can see repair option. Click on repair. and after the repair you can try to install the game still you are facing the problem if the repair does not resolve the problem in that case you can perform reset reset now once the reset is complete you can try to install the game but even the reset is not fixing the problem in that case you can open microsoft store and do the same thing with store so type in store in windows search box make a right click on microsoft store and then click on app settings and do the same thing repair and then repair and then check if that does not work you can perform reset and after the reset now you can try to install the game now the next step is to update xbox app and microsoft store from store library so type in store in windows search box and then open microsoft store Now, once Microsoft Store is open, on the bottom left you will see Library option. Click on Library, and then you will see an option which says Get Updates. Click on Get Updates. Once all the updates are installed, restart your computer and then try to install the game. Next step is to install Xbox Identity Provider and Gaming Services. So, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Now over here you can see Xbox Identity Provider. Click on Get in Store app. It will prompt you to open Microsoft Store. So click on Open Microsoft Store. And if Xbox Identity Provider is not installed in your computer, you will see Install or Get button over here. If you don't see Install or Get button over here, that means Xbox Identity Provider is already installed. Then you don't have to do anything. You can move on to the next step. But if you see install button, click on install. Now, in my case, it, it is already installed. So the next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services. So copy this command. This command is provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell in Windows search box, and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell, and then click on Run as Administrator. Make sure that you always open PowerShell as an administrator. Click on Yes to allow, and then paste the command over here. Hit the Enter key. This will uninstall gaming services. and then to install gaming services once again copy this command this command is also provided in the video description paste it over here hit the enter key this will open microsoft store on your computer and on microsoft store you will see gaming services and it will give you an option to install gaming services so click on install click on yes to allow and let the download complete now once gaming services is installed then you can try to install the game Now, still you are facing the problem. In that case, you can start all these services. So, type in services in Windows search box, and then click on services. 
and then find IP helper in the list. Make a double click on IP helper, set it to automatic, and then click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Now find Xbox services. At the end, you will find all the Xbox services. Only. So you have to start all the Xbox services. Make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Again, make a double click, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Again, make a double click, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, and then click on OK. Again, make a double click, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find Windows update, make a double click on Windows update, set it to automatic, click on apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find gaming services. Here you can see gaming services. Make sure gaming services are running. If not running, make a right click, then click on start or restart. If it is already running like this, in that case you can stop and then start the service. Now make a right click. If the gaming services is, has been disappeared after you stop the service, then you can open services once again. So open services once again and you should be able to see gaming services. Now make a right click, then click on start. Make a right click, then click on start. Now find Microsoft Store install service. Make a double click, set it to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now you can open Xbox app or store and then try to install the game. Next step is to update Windows to the latest version. Now this is very important. So open Windows settings and then go to Windows update or update and security and then click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed, restart the computer, open Xbox app or store and then try to install the game. Next step is to run WS reset command. So Type in WS reset in Windows search box and then click on WS reset run command. This will open black screen for a moment and then it will open Microsoft Store. And once Store is open, now you can try to install the game from Xbox app or Store. Now the next step is to uninstall and reinstall Xbox app and Microsoft Store. Now to uninstall Xbox app, you can type in Xbox app in Windows search box and then make a right click on Xbox app and then click on uninstall, uninstall. Now once Xbox app is uninstalled, now copy the first command and then type in PowerShell in Windows search box and then make a right from Windows PowerShell, then click on run as administrator. Make sure that you always open PowerShell as an administrator and then click on yes to allow. Paste the command over here. This will uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer. Here you can see Microsoft Store. This will uninstall. It's gone now. Now you can restart your computer and then on, on the, maybe you can restart. If you don't want to restart, that's okay. So on the same window, uh, you can paste the second command. This command is also provided in the video description. This, this command, this will reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer. And once this is done, now you should be able to open Microsoft Store. And then now you can open Xbox app or Microsoft Store. And now you have to, once Store is installed, you can now install Xbox app. Because we have already uninstalled Xbox app, so now you can try to install Xbox app once again. Click on yes to allow. And now once this is done, you can open Xbox app. Login with same account on Microsoft Store. Login with same account on Xbox app and then try to install the game. Next step is to try installing the game to C drive. Suppose you are trying to install the game to different drive. Maybe D drive, E drive, F drive. In that case, open Windows settings. And then go to apps. Go to apps and features in Windows 10 or in Windows 11. Uh, you can go to advanced app settings. And click on apps and then go to install apps. 
I'm sorry, go to system actually. So the steps are same uh, for Windows 10 and Windows 11 users. You have to go to system, not apps. Go to system. Now, once you go to system, then go to storage. Now, once you go to storage, scroll down. Now, in Windows 10, you, when you scroll down, you might see this option which says store, uh, choose where new content is saved. In Windows 11, click on Advanced Storage System, then click on new, uh, where new content is saved. Now over here, select C drive. So if you're trying to install the game to D drive or E drive, first of all, try to install the game in C drive. So if you have space, you can select C drive over here and then click on Apply. So in my case, I don't have any uh, external hard drive right now. So I don't have that option. So instead of uh, any like external drive, D drive or F drive, you can select C drive over here and then try to install the game to C drive. Now, if already you are trying to install the game on C drive, then you can try different drive. Suppose you were already trying to install the game to C drive and you were facing the problem. In that case, you can come to this location and then over here you can select different drive. So over here you can try any other drive and then click on apply. So first of all try to install the game to C drive but if you are already trying to install the game to C drive in that case you can try different drive. For new apps will save too, not for other, only for new apps will save too. You can select C drive first and if that does not work you can try D drive. So try to install the game to C drive or different drive and then check. The next step is to rename WP system and Windows apps folder. Now to rename WP system folder, open file explorer on your computer, go to this PC, open D drive. Now over here you can see WP system. When you try to rename it, you won't be able to rename it because you will receive some kind of error message that you are not allowed. Now. So make a right click on WP system folder and then select properties, go to the security tab. We will go ahead and take the ownership of this folder. So go to security tab and then click on advanced. Now click on change over here and then type in everyone over here. Everyone and then click on check names, then click on OK. Now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply ok 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 and then again make a right click on wp system folder select properties once again go to the security tab once again click on advanced once again now this time click on add over here and then click on select a principal now type in everyone once again and then check names ok now put a check on the box which says full control and then click on ok apply ok Okay, so now you can rename it, make a right click, then click on rename, rename it as wpsystem.old. Now still your face problem, in that case you can go ahead and restart your computer and then try to rename it once again. Open file explorer and then go to this PC, open D drive, then make a right click on windows apps and then rename it. Now before rename you have to take the ownership, make a right click then click on properties, go to security tab advanced now click on change over here type in everyone in the box now click on check names then click on ok now put a check on the box which says replace owner on sub containers and objects and then click on apply ok ok again ok again make a right click on windows apps select properties security tab advanced and this time click on add select a principal everyone check names okay put a check on the box which says full control okay apply okay okay now make a right click on windows apps and then click on rename and then rename it as windows apps dot old now while renaming it if you receive any kind of error message which says file is open in that case, open task manager on your computer. Make a right click on the start menu, click on task manager. 
Now if you find gaming services, make a right click and then click on end task and also open services over here and then go to services and find gaming services make a right click on gaming services click on stop so in my case it's not running so let me go ahead and yeah so make a right click then click on stop again make a right click and then click on stop make sure gaming services is not running and then you can go ahead and try to rename is at as windows apps dot old once the rename is done make a right click and then start the service Now the next step is to run init cpl dot cpl command. So type in init cpl dot cpl in Windows search box and then click on init cpl dot cpl and then go to the advanced tab. Now over here scroll down and make sure use TLS 1.0, use TLS 1.1, use TLS 1.2, use TLS 1.3. All four are checked over here. That is TLS 1.0, 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. Make sure all four are checked, then click on apply, click on OK. Now open Xbox app or store and then try to install. Now, if nothing is working, in that case, you can update your Windows 10 or 11 using Media Creation Tool. If you have Windows 10, copy this link. If you have Windows 11, copy this link. Windows 10 users, go to this website. Here you can see Media Creation Tool. Click on Download Tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file Click on yes to allow. This will load Windows 11 now. And here you can see install Windows 11. Click on next. It will check for update. Then click on accept. Again, it will check for update. Now, before the installation, you will see the screen which says ready to install. And by default, the option to keep personal files and app would be checked. When this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Click on install. After the installation, log into your computer. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install this game successfully from Xbox app or Microsoft store on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.